Hi, it's Mike from Pro Tools Expert, and today I want to give you an exclusive preview of the new features in the Isotope RX5 audio editor. I'm going to start with the first new feature, which is available in RX5 Advanced, and that's the Deplosive module. You know the situation, we have a piece of audio with a pop or a bang in it. We're picking up exactly what we need. And before, what we would have done is we'd have gone into spectral repair, we'd drawn round it, removed it, and that's okay for the odd one. But if you've got a track full of them, that can be a real pain. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just go through a track and get it to depop? Well, that's exactly what the new Deplosive module does. So I've pulled up a, a preset here, Moderate Reduction. And I'm going to do nothing else but just preview that now. Be picking up exactly. Be picking up exactly. Very nearly got it. So what I'm going to do is just increase the strength slightly. And try that. Be picking up exactly. what. And there we go. Sorted. So that's the new Deplosive module available in RX5 Advanced. The next thing I want to show you is the new improved leveler module. The controls have been changed and we've got these extra bits down here, the de-essing and also a breath control. So I'm just going to go back into Pro Tools for a moment because here we have in Pro Tools a problem piece of audio. You can see that the first section is quite strong and then the second section is a lot, quite a lot quieter. So if we just play it from here. Are you a, a closet rocker? And tell us all about how that all happened. I'd like to think that most of the people. So it's from a noisy trade show floor, in fact, NAM 2012. So what I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to send it across to the standalone version of RX using the RX Connect plugin. So we send it. That switches straight over into RX. If you remember the leveler module uses the clip gain to make the adjustment. So if we just show the clip gain line, then what we can do, of course, is if we wanted to, we could create some anchors and we could manually make a whole raft of changes. But the great thing about leveler is that it will actually do that for us. So we've got a target level in RMS, which is very similar. It's using the same K weighting system that we use for loudness measuring. So that's the current RMS value for the whole clip. So I'm going to leave the target around the same. Now what I'm going to do is to set the clip gain. So we can see here that it's made some adjustments. It's pulled it up. So if I just undo, you can see here there is the original. There is the new version. It's brought the levels up. And we can change the responsiveness so we can make it more responsive, so it'll change things a little bit quicker. We can also allow it to preserve the dynamics or not. So in this case, I don't particularly want to preserve the dynamics, so I'll keep that fairly low. And then what we can do is we can also add a de option and a breath control option. So again, we can just hit the set clip gain. So it just goes through and processes it. And there we go. And you can see now that we've got a whole range of hey, adjustments. Hey, it's Russ here at NAM 2012. I'm back with Bobby Lombardi. Bobby, some people don't know that you were... That now you, you can see the here that it's just brought the breath up a bit. Kind of so one of the things I can do is to highlight that section, right click and remove clip gain within the selection. So when we're happy with that, then we can send that back to Pro Tools switches back automatically to Pro Tools. We get the option here to render it. So I'm just going to simply put it straight over the top of my original one, render, and there we go. There is my new version leveled out, ready to move on. In RX4, Isotope added a brand new module called Ambience Match. But to do any ambience matching, we had to use the RX Connect plugin to ship the audio out into the standalone version of RX and then bring it back in once we tidied it up. In RX5, they have added an Ambience Match Audio Suite plugin. So now what we can do is to go in and select our Ambience Match plugin and we can click the Learn. 
So it's going to go through and analyze. Now we've got ourselves some uh, ambience. So we can audition so this. This is Broadway and Canal Street. And there it is. And you I can just hear that the and immediately ambience isn't quite loud of... enough. So we can push so the ambience is level up. And Canal Street. And there it is. I just looked to my right. And immediately there's a sort of. So there we go. Happy with that now. Having done that, all we need to do is render it. So this is Broadway and Canal Street. And there it is. I just looked to my right. And immediately there's a sort of. All ready to go. Fade in, fade out. And there we go. We can move on. So back into the standalone version of RX. So here's some applause with some whistles in it. Just hide the waveform a little bit more. Again, we could do that with spectral repair, but what I want to show you here is this new feature called Instant Process, which is available in all versions of RX5. And in essence, it's a sort of quick fix. So we've got the different options of attenuate, Declick, fade, gain, replace. So if we just go to attenuate for a moment and I use the magic wand, so we can click on that, hold the shift D key down, extend the selection, add the harmonics, and as soon as I let go, it's processed it. So because I've used attenuate, let's just take a listen. Still just there, but that's what I wanted. I just wanted to push it back in. So again, we could do the same thing with this one. So we can click on that one. And there we go. And we can just go in and just click and clean things up as we go. So of course, again, we can just play that back now. So I've been able to push the whistles back in. I haven't got rid of them all together, which is what I wanted in this case. But of course, if I did want to get rid of them all together, let's just go back through the undo queue. So what we can do is a very similar process, but with this time we'll change the instant process to replace. And so what we can do now is again, the same process. We can use the magic wand and click hold down the shift key you can see the little plus icon we can pick up the harmonics process and away it's gone so now we should be gone so there we go so the instant process button can do the spectral repair attenuate and replace we can change the gain. Each time we do this, it will use whatever settings are in here. So if I just turn the gain down a little bit, so now it will just use the gain. Or if I just chose to highlight a section, it just turns the gain down. I haven't got to go in, hit the process button. It's automatically hitting the process button the moment I let go. So we could put in a nice fade out. So if we go to the fade options, so we can set up a fade out. So now when I make a selection, it fades it out. So what happens with the instant process is that it will use whatever the appropriate settings were. So if we're using attenuate, then it will use the attenuate options in spectral repair. When I was using replace, it was using the replace options. When we were using gain, it was using the gain options. So we can now fix a whole range of things very, very quickly. Back into Pro Tools, I've got a clip here with a range of little issues. So how many times have you come across a voiceover recording with uh, lots of mouth clicks and also some popping? So let's see if we can clean up the mouth clicks and the popping. So what we can do is highlight that and send that to RX5. So here is our audio. It's also brought it across with handles, although in this case the handles are, are empty, 
but it brings across handles so it means that when you process something you can pull it out you can add a crossfade knowing that it has been processed with the appropriate amount of handles so let's just put the waveform back in it again and you can see now so how many times have you come across a voiceover recording with uh, lots of mouth clicks so we have a range of issues so we could open up each one of the modules have a listen set it up and work our way through things one at a time but there's a brand new feature in rx5 and rx5 advanced and it's this module chain so what we can do is we can set up a range of modules and get rx5 to process them one at a time so let's start with the d click so that now will pick up the settings that we have there so we can use this i module so that's our d click we then need a deplosive so we can hit the add button and go into deplosive and again we can just check the settings so then I'm going to add a little bit of EQ. So we go down to the corrective EQ. And again, we can have a look at the settings. So maybe we'll just take some of the low off, perhaps add in some HF shelving just to brighten things up a little bit. So there's our settings for that. And then we'll level it. So we'll put in the leveler. And then finally, I'm going to put in the loudness module so I can set it up for EBU R128. So there are all our processes all lined up. All I need to do now is to hit the process button and watch what happens, especially we'll see the declick go through and get rid of all the clicks. So we're running declick. So there's the declicks gone. We're now on the leveler the loudness and there we go it's all done so now all I need to do is send that back to Pro Tools and render that back in on top of the original one and here we go so how many times have you come across a voiceover recording with uh, lots of mouth clicks and also so there we go we can do a whole range of processing all in one hit and send that back to Pro Tools next thing I want to highlight is the D reverb module which was only available in RX4 advanced is now available in RX5 and RX5 advanced so now any RX5 user can use the D reverb module but during the day it was a gymnasium for rehabilitation for the patients because so that's d reverb now available in both rx5 and rx5 advanced and the last thing i want to show you is clip by clip processing with pro tools so let's just go back into pro tools and if you remember we have this series of clips so this here. is broadway and canal street and there it is so what I can do now is to highlight these four clips. We have it in repair. We send it to RX. And you'll notice now that we have this grouped section of tabs because each one of the tabs represents one of those clips. And you might be thinking, why can I see the next bit? Well, in essence, that's part of the handle. So we've got two seconds of handles both sides so this is actually the next little bit so this tab here relates to my second clip this tab here rates relates to the third clip and this tab here relates to the fourth clip so what I can do is we can take these modules we could for instance put in a loudness process so we can process that one we can now process this one and you can see the progress bar so now we can process the second one and the first one. So now they're all processed. So now what we can do is to send them all back to Pro Tools. We can hit the render button. Back they go. But the great thing is, if we just zoom in here a little bit, they still have the handles. 
So here, this one, I could pull that out and there is the next one all there because I've got a full two seconds of handles. So we can now process individual files because before what would have happened is we would have processed that block as a complete set and it would have come back and I wouldn't have been able to modify the edits in Pro Tools. It would just have been like consolidating a selection in Pro Tools. So that's clip by clip processing with RX and Pro Tools. So hopefully you can see from this quick look the range of new features and improvements in workflow that Isotope have added to RX5 and RX5 Advanced. I'll see you again soon.